So we've just checked in for the Corinth and paid 147 euros, a little bit more than we anticipated. We kind of anticipated about 90 pounds, which would have been about, I don't know, 120 euro. So that's the first thing. But um, we've only got about a 20 minute wait. There are a couple of boats coming through the opposite way. So we've just got to wait for them. Nice guy, very friendly, very helpful. And we'll see him on the other side, apparently. Gateways just dropped, kind of anticipate a boat will come through in the next 10 minutes or so. How are you? Keep your eye on the road. Sorry. Keep your eye on the road. Stop looking at things. You're not allowed to look at things. Yeah, there's not much margin for error, is there? I hadn't realised quite how high it was and how much digging they would have had to do. More chiselling than digging. Well, we didn't see any far oh, wings, no. no. Unless you meant ones <laughs> square holes in the wall. No, it said there was a relief of Hercules. Ah, carving. Kato. Kato. Kato, yeah. We've come through the Torrance Canal and we've come out on the other side and um, the weather here, the wind is 
gusting up to 35 knots at the minute, the swell and the crashing into the waves and it's not very comfortable at all I'm afraid. Um, we've got another couple of hours of this so wish us luck. So we've got the motor on as you can see, I don't think there's any well, point in putting sails out. No. And it's, um, as you can see, we're all over the place. Beautiful day, just blowing a hooli and, yeah. How are you doing? Yeah, good! <laughs> I think. That is a bit, um, a bit rough, to say the least. I think it's the worst we've been in. I don't think you'll probably be able to hear me anyway. Um, oh. Interesting. Nowhere to. Yeah, I don't know. I don't look pretty, but there you go. We got into the harbour and there was nowhere to go. <laughs> no spaces. 40 knots of wind. So we came over to the. Um, well, I suppose it's where all the cargo boats go. And of course, the wind is blowing us off the actual jet, off the um, harbour wall. <laughs> yeah. Off the hub. That's my voice. So we're just leaving Cato, um, it's about, well it's just after 9 o'clock and although it said that it was going to be flat calm, um, <laughs> we've had 20 knot winds this morning, but we've decided to make the break and we've got out here and actually it's not too bad, we've got between 10 and 16 knots of wind and it's on the beam and we've got the sails out, they are reefed down a little bit but we've got 6.5 6 knots, um, which we're pretty happy with actually, so we're on a, a course to um, Galaxidi, which is about 30 nautical miles from here, which will take us, I don't know, six hours, something like that. Yeah. The camera is on the stick, it's just be upside down. Don't worry. They are so amazing, aren't they? Absolutely amazing. and get bacon. Expensive stuff.
pretty good. I can smell it on camera, isn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous. It's quite salty. I think that's the town of Aitia, but we're actually going a little bit further around to a place called Galaxidi, which is pretty well sheltered between that little island in front of us and the mainland, so it gives us quite a bit of shelter because apparently the winds are going to be pretty strong tomorrow and overnight tonight, so we just need to tuck up somewhere safe. <laughs> 